Hey guys, I'm the Pickled Narwhal. Welcome back to the Outer Worlds. I'm going ahead and recording two Outer Worlds videos today instead of usually I do uh, Outer Worlds and uh, Baldur's Gate interchangeably. But I am having, once again, stupid storage issues with my computer. Uh, <laughs> and I don't want to be bothered with having to figure it out uh, whenever Baldur's videos take a little bit longer. So we're going to go ahead and just continue um, this. So let's go talk to Spencer about his tummy aches. Hey, Joe, tummy. Not in here? Keep him quiet. Oh, gosh, that's clever. Well, this is somebody's room. Is this Birdie's room? Ooh. The door. Cards. Clothes literally freaking everywhere. Ooh, my pigs. More clothes. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. I don't want that. Alright. Um literally nothing in here. Look at that. I can pick all the freaking doors. Let's go talk to this guy first. Yes. What? Did you finish your corn dog? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll get you uh, stuff in a little bit, okay? Ooh, look at that design! About time you arrived. I see you haven't dressed the way I asked you to, but I suppose that was expecting too much of a non-industry lout. Expect a complaint to management. Now, unless you'd like to waste more of my time, I suggest we begin rehearsing. Ready? <coughs> You've fallen right into my trap, Captain. Oh, don't bother to fight back. You cannot yeah. hope to stop uh -uh. me from installing philosophism as the that. system's reigning ideology. Um, you'll never take over Halcyon, you fiend. How does the scenery taste? Good, <laughs> I trust. Sure. Uh, wait a moment. You're not wearing a bellhop's hey, ID. Uh -uh. Must mean you're not Owen's understudy. That man can't even be relied upon to find his. I like own his eye color. Oh, no, this is curious indeed. Who right. are you? This is mine. How did you get in here? And then take it! Um, I'm here to investigate the murder house on Helen. I'd like to ask a few questions. You're here to investigate me? Oh, I assure you, I'm nothing special. Just an old crook with more money than time. That was a quote from the retiree's revenge, in which I played an ex-thief turned decrepit old man. But, uh, of course, I'm certain you already recognized it. Sure. Now, what shall I find first? Your weapon? Your wallet? Or perhaps something uh, a little more personal? Undergarment signatures have been popular of late, or so I've heard. No! I'm here to ask you questions. Do you mean to say you're not a fan? Well, then how did you get in here? The only staffer cleared for guest room entry is the inspector for Bellamy's murder. That's me. Oh. Uh, oh! <clears throat> Hello. That's me? Yeah. Um, did you derive some kind of pleasure from wasting people's time? Yeah, just... <clears throat> Hello. Uh, hi. Terribly sorry, Inspector. I didn't realize it was you. I understand that I am beyond you to comply with your search for the fiend that did Bellamy in. Uh -huh. You know, now that I look at you, <laughs> you're the perfect reflection of me. Back when I starred in the Marauder's Bay. Okay, you don't need to flatter me. Absolute picture of I get justice. it. You feel awkward. Ask me anything at all. I might even give you a straight answer. Okay. I just wanna... I hear you were poisoned. Indeed. The agonizing bowel pain was most undignifying. undignifying. While I've certainly had no shortage of inadequate hotel meals, this was most explicitly pronounced. I suspect poison. And who would be most likely to poison me but Chef Anwar? Oh, we've clashed almost non-stop about his slop preparation. 
He must have tainted my meal in retaliation. Nice. Um, according to the coroner, Helen was also poisoned. How alarming! Whoever targeted her was certainly targeting me. I can only thank my ironclad constitution that I'm standing here before you. Okay, well, she wasn't killed by the poison. Oh, oh, that's very good to know. Perhaps the poisoner simply meant to incapacitate us both, uh, disrupt the product launch. I couldn't say, Inspector. I'm merely an actor. Uh-huh. Can you think of anyone other than the chef who would want to hurt you? None that I can think of. I treat all hotel staff equally, and with the minimum level of respect that they deserve. I don't like that. Why didn't you go to the clinic for your stomach pains? Is the minimal respect. Could you imagine the tabloid headlines? Spencer Woolrich, Aether Wave star, spotted in gastronomic distress. Oh, unseemly hardly describes the half of it. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. Very well, then. <sighs> um, I've learned a thing or two about your activities in the hotel. Oh, have you now? Please do go on. Uh, uh, don't leave me in suspense. I found a bottle of tainted liquor. Might have had something to do with your poisoning. That, yes. Yes. I distinctly recall ordering an alcoholic beverage with my meal. I love the. This hotel is certainly this. bringing a new meaning to the phrase rotgut. Management shall receive the complaint to end all complaints. Got my eye on you. I'm quite used to being breathlessly watched. Okay. Um. Who are you exactly? I'm sure you're joking. Perhaps I'm not in my prime, but you've no doubt seen the name Spencer Woolrich on many a serial advertisement throughout your travels. Um, uh, never heard of you. Uh, that can't be. You must just not remember. Or perhaps you only recognize my characters, not my name. Did you ever see me in the Masked Marketeer? <laughs> the Buster of Byzantium? What about episodes 13 and 190 of Princess of Hephaestus? And who could forget from Halcyon with love? I was great in that movie. Even if I was starring beside a two-ton bucket of bolts and a woman with no talent. Uh, let's see. Busker of Byzantium. Helen wrote a B to implicate her killer before she died. I think that's a bit of a stretch, don't you? If you're going to come after me, I expect evidence. Unless you want to be smacked with litigation. Smacked! <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Say, so, so he's the her, her co-star then. Hello? You picked it up, didn't you? Did you not? I could have sworn that it did. Oh, there's the bourbon 3001. Good god, homie is leaking oil everywhere. Or blood. That's blood. I'm stupid. Good god! It's like a whole murder scene in here. Oh. Hey. Initiating banter protocol. Now simulating familiar and welcoming demeanor. Burbage 3001 is trained to recognize all board approved actors. Greetings, fellow star. Your performance in Maverick Johnston's latest drama was memorable. Uh huh. Um. Engineering, I see you've had some work done. Who upgraded you? Burbage 3001's programming is frequently upgraded to adhere to board certified standards. The most recent upgrade was performed by Spencer Woolrich. Banter protocol exhausted. 
reverting to default behavior, grieving and despair? Oh, Halcyon Helen, may your atoms be commended to the Aether. You do, Halcyon Helen? Verbage 3001 was designed to disrupt Halcyon Helen's monopoly over the Aetherwave serial market. This unit's programming is based on Helen's most famous rules, Verbage 3001. Anything Halcyon Helen can do, this unit can do slightly worse. Oh. Uh, does that include dying? This unit has been programmed to simulate existential dread. Watch Burbage 3001 contemplate its mortality in the critically acclaimed drama Waiting for Results. This unit has not yet completed its grief cycles. Randomizing despair tables. Oh, right. Helen. Is there no justice in the world? Um, okay, I'm leaving. Good god, yeah, there, I mean, that's that's blood. It looks like blood. Small footsteps. He doesn't ha like, the, the gun doesn't have anything to say about that at all. Look at that, Hella has a lot of bits. <laughs> Cute. Look at that. It went there. Like that, this looks like a freaking murder scene and... It doesn't have anything to say about that. Okay, well I gotta wait for this joker to walk past so I can go in here and see what's up in here. This is Spencer's room. He didn't really care that I came in here with him. Where did he go? Where did he go? He just disappeared. Oh wait, no, just kidding. I think he was in a different room. Yeah, he was in there. I'm dumb. Okay. Let's see for this guy to walk past. What kind of lock or? Uh, uh, what's the word? Pickpocketed the dude, there we go. Jesus Christ. Wake up to a perfect society designed to maximize productivity with guaranteed full employment. Earth 2285. Okay, there's purple berry on the bed for some reason. Are there discrepancies in here too? Just clothes. Man, these people really came in here, made a hell of a mess of their freaking clothes, and then just moved on. I was like, alright, I'm gonna go uh, explore and exist in this hotel. Alright, neat. Alright, well, that's. Wait, no, there's more this way. I wasn't expecting to open up a door and find this. All seen that woolly cow, right? Not just me. Okay, good. There's a cow in here. Multiple discrepancies detected. First discrepancy: a woolly cow is present in this hotel room. Uh -huh. Woolly cows are an import species for the wilderness exploitation reserve and are incapable of affording hey. upper class accommodations. Second discrepancy: this woolly cow is dangerously inebriated with Rizzo Spectrum vodka. Alcohol sanguinization ratio exceeds recommended maximum. What the heck? Oh, there's some wearing a discoloration in its eyes. An accurate observation, Inspector. This woolly cow is suffering from symptoms consistent with a hangover. A brief survey of this area reveals that the most recent occupants were athletes belonging to the Rizzo's Rangers Tossball Club. Um... Was Black Hole Birdie here? Insufficient data. A brief survey of localized property damage divided by the area of this room yields the following estimate. This unit was likely occupied by every member of the Rizzo's Rangers. Minus one. 
so then he probably wasn't in here then. Yeah, go on. He got sloshed. They freaking messed up this room. Jesus Christ. Dad, gum, bros. Look at all that. They broke the- f like, they cracked the freaking floor. They broke that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Zeke Han who the heck are you? Zeke Hannigan, Rizzo's Ranger's 16th back. Pleased to meet oh, you. Some what can I do for you? Baseball player. What do you happen to know why there's a woolly cow in one of the rooms? Uh, we sort of borrowed help her you? from the Wilderness Exploitation <laughs> Reserve while we were drunk. <laughs> I have no idea how we managed to sneak her in here without being spotted. Don't worry, silly. we'll return her safe and sound. <laughs> Mostly sound. <laughs> Hungover is still sound, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. What brings the Ranger Saradonos? Since it's the off-season, we're helping support the launch of Rizzo Spectrum Brown. Meet the fans, sign tossball cards, that sort of thing. Hi. How about you, fella? You after a signature? Okay, bye. Nah, I think I'll pass. He's just being coy. Anyway, where was I? Just between you and me, Rizzo's ought to cancel the whole event out of respect for Miss Helen. No. How long have you been with the Rangers? About half my life. You know I was named third most hey. profitable investment on two non-consecutive seasons? Hello? Ain't a lot uh -huh. of players who can make that claim. It's for you. Except for the guys who came in first and second, I guess. I spent the last season injured and almost got sold to the Hephaestus Hammers. But now I'm all convalesced. No, not right now. Ready to lay into some Cleo Darlings, you know? Really break some legs. Hey, I forgot about the Cleo Darlings. I said questions about House on Helen's murder. Oh, you must be that inspector people have been talking about. That's it's me. a damn shame about Miss <laughs> Helen. She was always real good to me and the rest of the Rangers. Birdie's taking it pretty hard. Miss Helen was the love of his life. So, what did you want to know? What did I want to know? Um. Tell me about Birdie and Helen. Oh, Birdie was mad about Helen. He was certifiable. The big galoot loved Helen about as much as he loved the game. Trouble is, Birdie was not blessed with an abundance of temper. Helen kept Birdie steady. If he lost his temper around her, it'd be because something broke between the two of them. Okay, do you think he could have killed her? What? Law, no. Birdie's got a fierce temper, but there's huh? no way he'd ever have laid a finger on Miss Helen. No? Uh, could you think of anyone who would want to kill her? Miss Helen was outspoken. She made her share of enemies on account of her expressing herself. Just between you and me, I heard rumors the Prophet never much cared for Helen's brand of blunt honesty. Um, where were you at the time of the murder? I'm ashamed to admit it, but me and a couple of the other rangers spent the night in Constable Keen's cells down at the spaceport. We didn't do anything serious, doing? just a bit of pranks and vandalism. It's what usually happens when we all get to drinking. Guess Constable Keen saw things a bit differently and had us hauled off. Keen is a girl, right? Was Brody in jail with the rest of you? No, we lost him somewhere along the way. Or maybe he managed to get away? I can't rightly remember. But he was definitely not sharing a cell with us. That much I know. Alright. What can I do for you? That's all for now. I love getting the lore and everything, but thank god none of these rooms have had a terminal that I need to read. What the heck? Why is that in here? Okay, so I got... I came this way, okay. I can turn around for a second. Hello? Don't mind if I do. And don't mind if I do. This is Jesus Christ. The Dissident Queen Chapter 2 continued. Um, yeah, if you want to read it, go ahead and pause. <laughs> Reading isn't all that fun right now because of my nose being stupid. Sorry. Oh, footsteps. A single footprint, size 10, tossball cleat sized. Uh huh. Amplifier analyze the footprint for any residue. The soil in this residue contains a very high concentration of oxygen. 
High concentration of oxygen usually points to a terraformer. Well done, Inspector. The weather monitoring station at the pilot house substitutes for a terraformer. The soil in its footprint likely came from there. Okay, this isn't enough of a lead. Better keep looking around. Okay, then what's in here? Literally nothing worth taking. I mean, yeah, sure, 25 bits. Okay, so somebody was in here. Unless it's the, uh, signed toss ball stick. The dude that came at me could be. Where? The charred fragments of a letter lies at the bottom of this waste basket. <sighs> Dang. Station meeting point emergency. Amplifier, can you identify what was on the letter? Unfortunately, most of the writing is beyond recovery. The words station, meeting point, and emergency are all that can be discerned. Well, I'm stumped. Dang it. Um, the clues I've found point me to the faint pilot house's weather monitoring station. Poke the ashes cold. Any idea when this happened? Someone burned this letter shortly after Halcyon Helen's death. Okay, can you identify what's on the other one? No, I can't. Okay, so we're going to the, the one place then. Right after I continue looking around. Messy. Messy floor. Okay, so I went that way, so now I gotta go this way. That's someone else's room. Why are they putting freaking purple berries on the daggum pillows? That's so random. They're just... Alright, oh, we'll just take this right here. Look, that's fine. More freaking, like, purple berry stuff, like, everywhere. Okay, well that concludes that. Aha! Always so nice to hear you, Inspector. I'll get you to your floor on the double. <laughs> uh, exit? I guess. Ugh! Hi. Hi. <laughs> What's up? What? You need to clean your face. So, green dot. Oh, right, the chef. <laughs> I was like, where am I going? Yeah, I'm dumb. Yeah, it's zombies. Monster. Yeah, monster. Alright, so now we can properly talk to the person. Yummy. Hopefully. Since the little Yummy. one is in my lap. Yummy. Yeah, zombie. And they go, uh, like that. Alright. Yes? Yeah. Are you here for the double rack of smoked sprat? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you'll have to wait. Oh, don't give me that look. Let me see if I can pencil you in for later. Actually, what am I saying? I can't do that. I'm booked for the next month. You'll have to make a reservation. Can you talk faster, dude? Um, what? Why are you talking about food? Don't you care about the crime that just occurred? I mean, it's not like really he really cares. So, I'm here to investigate House on Hill's murder. I'd like to ask you a few questions. You're you're the inspector here. Why? I I mean. You may ask no. me whatever you want. No. I have nothing to hide. Okay. Did you prepare all of Helen's meals? You seem pretty wed to your craft. Were you in the kitchen at the time of the murder? You said you were the hotel chef. What's that like? Yeah, did you prepare all of her meals? Of course I did. I would never allow anyone else to touch the meals of so important a guest. Okay. Well, her last meal was poisoned. Oh. Oh my law. This is the end, isn't it? My mother always warned me that the culinary world was too dangerous, but I didn't heed her warnings. 
Okay, okay. I wasn't the one who did it, but I might have been mistaken when I said I was constantly watching Helen's food. Spencer Woolrich and Bellhop Owens were underfoot in the kitchen as I was preparing uh -huh. Helen's meal. Either one of them could have tampered with the food when I was fetching ingredients. Okay, Alba's a little thin here. Why should I believe anything you're saying? Why were you being evasive about the her leaving her food unattended? Uh, what was Spencer doing around the kitchen? Mr. Woolrich often finds the hotel's meals wanting. He seems to enjoy complaining in person. Oh, I'm sure. While I could appreciate someone with a discerning palate for once, I believe that Mr. Woolrich simply enjoys the attention he gets from us. Though, don't tell him I said as much. Ooh. If you wish to speak with him, Mr. Woolrich can most no. likely be found in his suite on the VIP guest floor. He's usually there if he's not poking around here. That's pretty funny. He likes to complain in person. Any idea where I might be able to find Bellhop Owens? Yes, but not specifically. Owens often procures no. exotic ingredients from the creatures at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. Our guests can be rather... particular. Let's not talk about the incident with the raptodon pheromone glands. Oh, it's Lord. always hard to say when Owens might be back. If I were you, I'd make a trek to the reserve myself. Otherwise, who knows how long you'll have to wait. Okay, that's fine. Why are you being evasive about leaving her food unattended? Well, it's a breach of professionalism, of course. Why else would I worry about it? Uh, oh, Persuade 105. If you tell me the truth, I might be inclined to believe the rest of what you say. Because some of Halcyon... Because some Halcyon food combinations turn to acid when on supervised. Yeah, I'll see the Persuade. Well, no. I suppose that's as good a point as any I've heard. I may have taken some time to engage in a teensy bit of recreational drinking, and consequently, I may have been somewhat less than coherent after preparing Helen's meal. Okay, so why should I believe anything you're saying? Hey, stop! I understand your reluctance, but... Oh! Oh! I just remembered! The kitchen security camera! It'll prove I'm telling the truth about everything! <laughs> Constable Keen has access to the security footage in her office at the spaceport. If you visit her, you can figure out what truly happened with Helen's meal. No, it's not a puppy. It's not a puppy. It's not a puppy. A puppy. <laughs> uh uh. Alright, that's all I wanted to ask about. Guess we'll see if you're telling the truth. Thank you for your understanding, Inspector. Stop. I'm sure you'll find the true culprit before long. Ah, uh, yeah, I better. With how long this is taking me. Alright, well, so this is all that I have time to record today. I didn't realize what time it was. Um, I have to do other things today. So, um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and continue this. What are we doing exactly? Oh, yeah, the... We're gonna go retrieve the security footage and then go talk to the dude. Uh, in the next one. So, I wanna go ahead and thank everybody so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!